Water Friends. It's Tracy and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. Violet ended up sleeping with Mazaya, so they're still in bed. But it's about 5.30 in the morning. Ooh, it hit snooze a few times, but that's all right. Um, he walks so much better. <laughs> like he doesn't even pull at all when it's just him, but he just pulls the very first went violets with us. I don't know whether he thinks it's a competition or what. Come on. <sighs> All right. I just say that and then you try to rush ahead. Anyways, it is Friday. Happy Friday. Yesterday was Groundhog's Day. I forgot all about it. <sighs> Goodness sakes. But, um, it's Friday. I didn't know what to expect. It was supposed to be snowing right now. It did snow some. Like, there is some snow on the thing, but we're getting extreme cold warnings. Right now it's only minus two, but it's supposed to go down to minus 25, 26 as the day goes on. Come on. So, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I'll check back in a bit when we get back to the house and I gotta get that fire going again. It looks like it burned all the way down. Jeepers creepers. All right, friends, we're back from our walk. There's Boris. I heated up a coffee my husband got me yesterday. I heated up some leftover Alfredo for Misha. There's only a little bowl left like that got gobbled up like nobody's business. And Mays had a piece of steak I cut up and put a little hickory sauce in a separate container and that's in a thermos so their lunches are packed. But I, yeah, it's supposed to go down real cold today. I want to have a shower this morning. And, uh, yeah, I went grocery shopping last evening after hockey and got a bunch of easy things, so. My goodness, Boris. Mally made hamburgers last night, so we'll probably do hamburgers for supper. If there's not enough, there's still leftover raw hamburger. And I could do up some more. We'll see. But, yeah, it gets colder as the day goes on. Like, right now, like I said, it's only minus two, but... It's going to progressively get colder and colder into Saturday. And, yeah, we'll just have to keep the fire stocked up. And, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I forgot my book upstairs. I would try to read some more of that. I'm about almost halfway through it. I didn't read any more after hockey last night. Like, I probably could have finished it last night, but I just didn't feel like it. So... I want to finish that today and that'll wrap up my reading vlog for this week. It's my first one I've ever done. So it's just me checking in. I'm taking tidbits from every day that I'm vlogging. Just little bits and then in between those segments uh, I talk about the books that I'm reading. <laughs> I'm just trying it. I'm just trying it. But yeah. So this week it'll be three books I read that take me with you. The Disappearance at Devil's Rock and 136 Scars. So, all right, I will just drink my coffee and rest a minute. And I'm itching for a shower, literally. Uh, so, after Misha and Mays go, I'm going to hop in the shower. I'll wake Mazai up before I do, but you know, I'll have enough time to have a quick shower and get creamed up and stuff. So, all right, I'll be back. Right, friends, I'm gonna try to get this fire going. I can already feel there's coals on my friggin' ash bucket's just been full. So I'll take it a little bit. Like that's just soft ashes. I don't want to go outside right now, it's dark and I have to walk down to the ash pile and all that jazz. I'm not doing that right now, so Ooh, baby. Uh, I'm going to message Saritha today too, just to make sure she needs anything. <clears throat> I wasn't planning on going to town, but if she needs anything, extra blankets out or anything, I just don't know how cold it'll get in the house, our house. 
probably kind of cold. <sighs> Some parts. So we gotta take precaution. kindling here, crisscross applesauce. I do have paper here, but I don't think I'll even need that. It'll just take a little time to start burning. Oh gosh, I'll find some smaller pieces to put on top of that. Within a half hour, that'll start burning. great big chunky bits yet. Maybe I'll throw a little paper on top. It's not really going to make a whole lot of difference. I can already see it starting to smoke. So. We'll have this puppy pumping all day night long. Dad gives me, he, when he comes over, he gives me a box. He always gives me old flyers. He's like, do you need any fire starter? Sure, Dad. I can always use fire starter. I think he gets some out of the post office recycling thing. Because <laughs> they're all like one kind of flyer. That wasn't really necessary, but. don't like that so it kind of breathes it's like netted and we'll have the drafts open leave the door open just a smidgen and that'll be going in no time five minutes not even Oh my goodness, I was just about to go up to get the kids. It's 10 to 7 and I checked the internet and school's canceled today. So thank, <laughs> thank goodness I didn't go up and wake them up. I've done that I think a couple times this year. I get them up, get them dressed, get them out the door with their book bags and stuff. And we're out there waiting for the bus and I find out school's canceled. But Oh, who the hell's calling? Where the hell's the phone? Oh God. Just a minute. Hello? Center for Education. To hear this message now, press one. Spoke school being canceled. All Digby County schools will be closed due to pending weather. Yeah. <laughs> God. That's all I need is a phone to wake up the house. Right, Boris? Oh, I want to go jump in the shower now, but I'll wait till at least somebody gets up. Because <clears throat> I like to shower upstairs. I do have a shower downstairs. But I'll just end up waking somebody up. And I'm going to enjoy this time of silence. I should go up and get my book, but I'm just relaxing here with my fluffy bunny. Well, well, that's something. I mean, it's not snowing out now, but it is supposed to snow some. Not a great big storm, but it's getting so cold so fast. It'll be so cold, the salt won't me melt the snow or anything on the road so I'm glad I'm glad they're canceling it so extra long weekend and I'm glad that I went to the store yesterday but yeah well that's good and high five to me I checked before I woke the kids up otherwise I'd have kids running around right now all right guys I had a shower at 7:37. I couldn't hold off anymore 
I published yesterday's video because it took a while to upload. I'm going to try to read until somebody gets up and then I'll move forward. I loaded up the fire again because that all burned and the furnace is about to kick on. But yeah, I don't have enough to start a load of laundry after the kids all get up. I'll see if there's any straggle bits and get it going. But yeah, I feel better. I feel better. All right, Maze is the first one up, and I bought these yesterday, some toaster strudels. These are the apple cinnamon ones, and yeah, bon appetit. Alright guys, um, I just brought in, or filled up a wheelbarrow, um, and I brought Violet and Boris out. Now, because it's only like minus two, three, a little cooler, cooler with the wind chill, but I wanted to get that done um, before it gets super cold, like super duper cold, and my fingers are frozen as is. And yes, the kids help me, but I do the, I don't like them going around a frozen wood pile because it's like Jenga, it can easily fall down and bits are frozen to uh, one another and you gotta kick it and pull it and yank it and stuff. Um, and when my husband's gone, that's what I gotta do because you know, you gotta keep the house warm for your children or yourself or your fluffy bunny. So anyways, we got wood in we got a wheelbarrow out in front of the house, covered with a tarp. So if that all burns up tonight, which I don't think it will, I'll have a little bit for tomorrow morning. Um, the kids can bring that in tomorrow uh, or whatever. I'll just go grab armloads at a time. But at least it's not going to get wet and hopefully not stuck together frozen. But Violet and Boris could get out and stretch their legs while I, again while it's not too bad out and yeah I'm just trying to defrost my hands I did double glove but when you're handling cold stuff if I wasn't picking up snowy wood or frozen wood it wouldn't be so bad but yeah my fingertips yeah yeah so anyways Maziah's up and Maze is up I don't think Misha's up or at least she wasn't I haven't seen her yet and Mally's still snoozing so Maze had those toaster strudels and I don't know what Maziah got she got herself something Oh, and I'm just working on this book. I'm on page 175 now. Yesterday at hockey, I got to 133, I think, and I didn't touch it again until this morning. So I'll probably finish this up today. There's exactly 300 pages in this book. And uh, yeah, I would imagine because it's only 928 in the morning. So yeah, I'll finish that up and I'll be good. I'll be good. So the furnace just kicked in. I don't even have that up super, like I have it on 20. So, but I want to maintain um, a comfortable, not overly hot, but a comfortable temperature in the house um, because a big old house like this takes a while to warm up once it gets cold. So I got to make sure I maintain it. I turned it down to about 15 when I went to bed last night, but it still was kicking in. So yeah, yeah. And Maze has a space heater in his room because he's on that far wing of the house. And depending on which way the wind blows, you know. But his space heater is a safe one. Like it's cool to the touch and it's like a furnace that shuts off when it gets to the right temperature and kicks back on when it starts to cool down and all that stuff. So, whoo, all right, I'm feeling good. I got that accomplished. I was like, oh, the wood that we brought in there was in the wheelbarrow from yesterday. And I was like, oh, that's enough for today. But then I'm thinking tomorrow's going to be cold. I might as well just do it now while I can. And yeah, yeah. I did so anyways I'll be back in a little while Misha's up now and she must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed because she was getting extremely frustrated with how the icing was going on the toaster strudel yeah <laughs> I went upstairs to just lay down a bit 
And uh, I didn't stay long. It's only 12 o'clock now, but Misha and Maze made a cabin. They're listening to classical music. Oh, you're listening to... It's a blank screen. Is there supposed... Wait. Okay. One second. Go back. All right, I'll go back. Okay. Oh, open. Well, that's cool. 50 cents a cup of fruit punch. Is that a Sharpie, like a permanent marker? No, it's a whiteboard marker. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay. Could I have a glass, please? I'll have to find 50 cents, or I'll go get it and I'll be right back. All right. All right, I got 50 cents. Oh, one of the quarters had a red maple leaf on it. 50 cents a glass of juice. And they fronted Mally a glass of juice, so I'll cover her tab. Boris. Okay. And there's for Mally. And this is for me. Oh, okay. The big fat one. No, you're not going to get more even if you got a big cup. That's all right. The music really adds to the ambiance. I'm going to vacuum in the dining room since Augustus is stripped naked. Cheers, you guys. Oh, that's delicious with a, a tinge of orange in there. And these guys ate their lunch kettles. There's the seating area back there. Oh, that's the seating area. Oh, he must have been a... A customer, were you? Okay. I told them they could eat their lunch kettles. You should tip them. I did. Oh, did ya? Here's a tip. Pump up the jams. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, that's good. <laughs> oh, delicious. Here's a tip. Yeah. <laughs> piece of advice. Yeah. Oh, Augustus. I caught you in the buff, didn't I? Well, I'm going to clear that floor and vacuum while all the chairs are gone. That's what I'm going to do.
right, friends, it's about grub time. It's 5.15. Mally made some more hamburgers, so there's enough for everybody to go around. My husband made it home safe, which is exciting. But I'm telling you, you don't want to step foot outside the door for any length of time, because it is cold. It's snowing out, but it's like really teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny snowflakes. It's hard to see. Yeah. Dangerous. I feel bad for any loose dogs and cats that might not have a home out there. I don't mean to make you sad, but, you know, if you have a pet, make sure that they're inside the house, for sure. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. Um, yeah, the kids had hamburgers for supper, which was perfect. Um, it's super duper cold out, like, like, I don't know, minus late 20s, but with the wind chill, it's late 30s kind of thing. And yeah, it's cold, it's cold. So when Bo Boris and Violet go out, they just go out, take care of their business, we come back in. There's no playing outside today, I can tell you. This morning it was okay when I was doing that wood because it was just like minus one or two. But yeah, it's done. But I finished that book today. I'm gonna start another book, our pick out books for next week. I'm gonna try my hand at another reading vlog. I'll read three books maybe next week. But, yeah, my husband came to home today. He went to Halifax last evening and came home today. Um, so that's awesome. I was just spending time with him this afternoon. We were watching funny videos and stuff like that. It was nice. And, uh, yeah, Mace is supposed to have a hockey game tomorrow morning, but I don't know if we're going to go because that fair road hasn't been plowed because it snowed a bit. Uh, hasn't been plowed and there's no cars going on it. I'm not going to try to drive in there. We'll see. We'll see. I do have the big truck. I, I mean, I could. I'm not scared of snow, but I'm scared of ice that might not be able to melt and all that stuff. Dirt trucks are out too. Uh, so at least there'll be something. If the salt's not doing the trick, there is dirt. But yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I edited my tea time one and I'm going to, it's exporting now. Then I'll click it to upload and then I'll unload my phone for this video. And I'll upload it, like I have to edit it and upload it from there. But, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what's shaking after I'm tired, though. I am sleepy, but I'm glad I got that video done. And, um, yeah, everybody had their fair share of hamburgers. And, yeah, easy peasy. So, anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Well, good morning, friends. It is the next day. <clears throat> it's about 7.30 in the morning. I got up around 7. Slept in a bit, but I didn't mind because it's Saturday morning, of course. Um, it is really cold outside still. It's, the Google said it's minus 22, but with the wind chill, it's like minus 36. So I took these guys out, and it's snowing. Maze is supposed to have a hockey game today. I can only assume that it's going to be canceled because he won't be going. I can tell you that much, but let me show you. All right, let me show Maze's. Blanket fort is still right here, but I opened the blinds, and I know there's a screen there, but it's like the little teeny tiny flakes, and it's so cold the snow's not sticking together, it's like powder, but it's not soft powder, I don't know how to explain it, but um, we seen, on our way back, we seen there's that big hill there. There was a snow plow going down it, but there hasn't been one on our road. I didn't see one on all yesterday, but I don't know if they were out in a boat. I don't know. But anyways. Yeah, so I'll just keep an eye on the hockey group. Um, I'm sure it's going to be canceled because the team that they were going to play was from away up the valley. And usually it's worse up the valley, snow-wise. So, yeah. I doubt if they'll be playing. Um, yeah, it's Saturday. Since we had a snow day yesterday, it seems like, oh, it's only Saturday still. This would be like a Sunday having two days off kind of thing. But I'm just going to squish yesterday and today together. Um, yeah, just the way it is. I just put some wood in the fire. My husband got me a coffee yesterday, so I heated that up. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. All the kids are still asleep. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All the kids are still asleep, and 
my husband's still asleep. It's just us three, uh, three stooges up, but that's okay. And you guys, you guys too, you guys are the fourth stooge, so. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I don't really know what I'm going to do except drink my coffee. I did put TV for dogs on. It's just a woods walk. Sometimes there's dogs walking, sometimes there's not. I haven't seen a dog in this one yet, but it's just somebody walking slowly in the woods with pretty music. And it's relaxing. Maybe I'm a dog on the inside. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? All right, Messiah got up. These guys pulled down the blanket from the fort. I might put Augustus back together. He's a little exposed out there, so I'll put these chairs back so we can have a clear floor. Yeah, it is windy out. Like, see the... Oh, you can't see. The screen is all caught up with snow. And the visibility out there, it'd be bad. There's like squalls of uh, snow and stuff. Not good driving. Not good driving. All right, that's all put away. They're still playing in amongst it. I wasn't down here when Maze and Misha made that fort, and those chairs are heavy. Augustus is muscly. Like, he's he's thick, so they must have struggled getting those chairs out. <laughs> Funny. All right, there were just little birds out there. I have snow stuck to my window, but there were some birds on that. I need to go out. I'm not going out today to fill up those. They can still get some. Uh, well, that one on the right, on the bottom rung, the one on the left... But right now there's, I think those are blue jays. Yeah, they are blue jays out there. It's minus 21 with the wind for when gust like minus 35. So they mustn't mind the cold. I don't really know that much about birds in regards to that stuff. Same with like deer. They must, not that they enjoy the cold, but they must be able to withstand it. Bears, raccoons, porcupines. Well, bears would be hibernating, but... Yeah, the birds are still out there. And Misha just got up. She She's starting to take after Mally. She wants to make a cooked breakfast for everybody. She wants to make pancakes and eggs. So I'm going to wipe the table off. I'll find my griddle thing, you know, like the plug-in rectangle fry thing she can whip up some pancakes she knows how to do this all herself and she knows how to make eggs by herself um and i said yeah you can just let me get the table and stuff wiped off so that's what i'm gonna do now
Look at that leaning tower of pancakes. <laughs> Good job, Mish. Good job. She did that 100% all by herself. She mixed up the pancake mix, beat the egg, everything. Everything. I just got the griddle down from the top shelf in the laundry room. That's about it. So now she's going to do up some eggs, I think. But those are looking so good. Give it time to cook. Okay, Misha's doing a bunch of scrambled eggs. There's six eggs, a bit of milk, and, you know, a spoonful of bacon grease in there. Salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be milk. good. And milk, yeah. Look at those. They look friggin' perfect. She doesn't have it blaring high. It's between a seven and an eight. Moving it around. She seasoned it with salt and pepper before she put it in the pan. Ooh, Nelly. Want to look. The pan's kind of heavy. One hundred percent by herself. Those look better than scrambled eggs I make. I'm usually too impatient. Ooh, there they are. I put them in the microwave. We have shredded cheese if we want to put on. There's hot sauce. You know, I like my hot sauce with eggs. And, uh, yeah, perfect. All right, look at that. Look at, she's been through a war zone right there. War zone, I tell ya. <laughs> but these look delicious. Perfect combination. Oh, Ms. I's coming down for her feed. There's hot sauce if you want any on your eggs. No, no, no way. way. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm sorry I have not checked back hardly at all today, if at all. I'm not sure. I just had a shower, so I'm all shiny and stuff. It's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I've just been busy. I was reading and just hanging out with the, the family, honestly. Um... Uh, a lot of places around here lost power, but luckily we haven't. Not in our little village anyways, but in town where Dad is. Um, he hasn't lost power, though, I don't think. <sighs> anyways, Mally made spaghetti uh, last evening, so that's what I'm going to give the kids for supper. But um, Violet. Um, it's still like super cold out, but it is warming up a little bit, which is nice. But it's still like cold. Um... Mally's upstairs, Maze is upstairs, Misha's down around here, but yeah, I just wanted to check in before it's too long. When I get that spaghetti out, I'll show you. And uh, that pan those pancakes and eggs went off without a hitch, but it's all gone. I'm so proud of Misha in her cooking journey. She knows how to make like scrambled hamburgers, she knows how to make spaghetti, she knows how to make hot dogs, pancakes, french toast, eggs, craft dinner, Mr. Noodle, like stuff like that. And um, she did fry steak some time before with my husband, I think. So she's just starting her cooking journey. She, more than likely, she'll be like how Mally is, which is great. Um, it's a good skill to learn, for sure. When eventually she's up and out, she'll know how to at least make a meal for herself. So, yeah, it was nice. We haven't had pancakes in months. Like, I don't remember the last time we had pancakes. Very long time. But, yeah, they're so super, super simple to make. I don't know why. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I just wanted to check in before I got too, too far away. All right, guys, this is the spaghetti. Um, it's spaghetti and meatballs, not, like, scrambled hamburger. Um, and they could have either Parmesan cheese or shredded cheese. So this is shredded cheese on this one. Some want one, some want the other. But whatever, just heat it up in the microwave and Bob's your uncle. Alright guys, it is almost 5.30. I put some more wood in the fire. The dishwasher's going. Today's kind of been a crap day for filming and stuff. It's just, I have a lot going on up in here, if you know what I'm saying. Everything's fine, but just, just haven't been with it. So, when I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. So, yeah, but everybody uh, has had a good relaxing day at home. The wind has died down. The, um, there's no snow squalls out now anyways. I'm hoping the people in town got their power back because that'd be a horrible time to if you don't have any secondary heat in your house. But anyways, Violet and Boris are just eating their supper now. I'm going to put an ending on this so I can go up and edit yesterday and today's a little bit. 
and uh, start fresh again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Maze is supposed to have a hockey game, another hockey game, um, day on the front shore tomorrow, but I don't know. We're supposed to get more snow tomorrow, so we'll see. It's not going to be as cold, but we're supposed to get snow, so I don't know. And Misha was supposed to have gymnastics this morning along with Maze's hockey, but that was canceled, so we'll just have to wait and play it by ear, you know, how it goes, how it goes, but... Anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for, me, for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, Ooh, Okay, guys, I think um, that kettle's hot. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and go upstairs and edit. So with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.